Hello, welcome. We are going to be ranking the best snacks. Now, a lot of my favorite snacks aren't on here, but this was the best tier list I could find online with a good amount of stuff that I, I do like and uh, don't. So, let's start. Alright, Pirate's Booty. Um, let me start here because there's a few of them. I'm not crazy about popcorn. Um, not even at the movies. I'd rather just have candy. I know you can have a lot of them and they're not many calories and I don't know a lot of people enjoy it but for me not really although these are flavored white cheddar and I am a sucker for flavored popcorn if I'm gonna have popcorn it has to have some flavor that's that's kind of my issue it's just too bland for me most of the time even with like salt or or butter or whatever um, so I'm gonna put it in D tier because I wouldn't buy it myself but if someone has it I might take a few bites all right pretzel M&Ms great I love them uh, I love pretzels, and I love the chocolate of M&Ms. It's, uh, it's the best of both worlds. I wouldn't get them, be like, myself. Like, maybe once in a blue moon, but usually I like uh, M&M minis or, or the almond ones, or just the original. And here's another M&M. I'll just go to this one. Uh, peanut M&Ms, really great. Uh, not as good as pretzel to me, but uh, most people like them, and you can find them more often, so that's nice, but still C tier. Uh, okay, chocolate chip Cliff Bars. See, I liked Cliff Bars for a while, um, but they're hyped. I, like, even on it, it shows this dude, uh, what, rock climbing or, or something, and he he's an athlete, all right. But he's eating Cliff Bars. He's doing it wrong. That's not what you should be eating. They're full of sugar. They don't have barely any protein or fiber, and the calories are way too high. It's more of a treat than, than something that's going to build your endurance. Um, so I'm going to have to put that... Hold on, is this still... Okay, I'm going to have to put that in E tier. Also, it's not my favorite flavor. Like, it, if if this were to be uh, Blueberry Crisp or the Peanut Butter one, I might move it up to D. Uh, but no, not anymore. All right, Welch's Fruit Snacks. They're great. They remind me of childhood. I would get them in the lunch line at school all the time. Uh, I'd even buy them on my own. There's different variety, but I mean, these are the OG ones. They're great. You can't go wrong with them. I like the yellow ones a lot, actually. Uh, but I put these in A tier. Fruity, real fruit. That always made me feel good, even though it's it's gummies and it probably has barely any of it in there, but oh well. All right, uh, these... Quakers, Chewies, I guess it's just a variety pack, so it's it's different kinds. Um, I like them, but they're too small, and I eat them so quick, like, in a matter of 10 seconds. And that's not even, like, one bite. It's, like, two. They're, they're good, don't get me wrong, but they're they're gone too quick, and I don't know. I'd give them a C, though. I think that's fair. All right, pretzels. I love pretzels. Pretzels are great. I can't have too many of them. Uh, the rolled gold are good. They're not my favorite form factor of pretzels, uh, but I do like the holes. It's fun to like stick your tongue in or like take a bite in the little crevice, you know, right there. Um, I put that in C as well. All right, cheese it white cheddar. I haven't really, I don't think I've bought in the white cheddar alone, but I've had the duos, which I think have uh, white cheddar cheese its within them, and I like those a lot. And I like white cheddar, <laughs> white cheddar as a ingredient, anyways. So I put it in A because I really like cheese. Cheese it's it doesn't seem fair because I haven't really had it on its own. I may have, but not often. All right, Mott's gummies. Ugh. I, I I liked them. Maybe not even. I'll put them in D. Okay. I liked them for a bit. It was kind of like the Welch's thing. Like, ooh, they're made of fruit. So if I love gummies, I might as well just eat healthy ones if I want to be healthy. But I mean, they're just not good. Uh, they were at one point, but when you have too many of them, it's like, okay, this is overkill. I can't do it anymore. I ruined them for me. But I've also eaten tons of Welch's, and I can still eat those, so A tier still. Uh, okay, Sargento string cheese, cheese sticks. I don't like cheese sticks. I did at one point when I was younger, but I think that's just because my family gave them to me. <laughs> but, like, I would never buy cheese sticks now, so no. Uh, that's F tier. I don't know what this is. And same with this. Here, let me... I Cheese doodles, I've, like, heard that, but... <laughs> I feel like that's always just like some off-brand thing in a, like a show because they can't say the real brand. I didn't know like cheese doodles actually existed. Uh, someone might burn me at the stake if 
if that's their favorite thing. I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. All right, Ugh, honey mustard and onion Snyder's. I've had them. Look, I like honey mustard as a dipping sauce, but as a flavor, it just it doesn't work. Any type of mustard, like that's just gross. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, yeah, F tier, gross, nasty. All right, cheese nips. Now this might raise some controversy. I like cheese nips. A lot of people don't. When I first uh, brought up this tier list, because someone else like made it with all the stuff, they had cheese nips in F tier. That's an abomination and truly a disgrace to mankind, and I, I, I can't accept that. Uh, maybe I'm looking at them with rose-tinted glasses, because I am nostalgic for them. They had like little baggies of them in Lunchables, um, and so they were always like a nice thing. I, I wouldn't get a box of cheese nips though. Actually, you know what? Someone in my family got a box of cheese nips. I went in my pantry. I was like, whoa, what? Like we had cheese nips and we had cheese nips, which is something we never get. Um, but I, I put them in seats here. They're good, but they're not cheese its Okay, like I'm not. I'm not crazy. I'm not going psycho or anything. But they're not horrible. They're not that bland. I don't know. They've got something going on. All right, Sour Patch Watermelon S tier. Love them. Great. I haven't gotten them too much, but when I have them every time, they're amazing. Can't say enough about them. Although I do like the uh, strawberry sour patches better. Although you can only get like bigger packs of them. You can't get the small ones like you can with OG Sour Patch Kids and Sour Patch Watermelon. And now that I think about it, it's kind of crazy that they don't have the original Sour Patch Kids on here too. That would also be an S. And just to rattle off some of my favorite candies, I'd put like Sour Skittles up there. Oh, didn't even realize they have OG M&Ms. All right. Um, hmm. S or A? Uh, I have to say A because I can eat like Sour Patch Watermelons all the time. But like M&Ms after a while, I'm like, my stomach, it just can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Uh, which is probably a good thing, but still, no. All right, pretzel rods. Man, these things are huge. They're massive. I'm not crazy about them. I think of them fondly because I remember at a birthday party when I was a kid, we like made wands for Harry Potter theme, and that was fun, but I would never buy pretzel rods just to snack on. You gotta be psycho. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, that's That's E. All right, rainbow goldfish. I love goldfish. You can have as many goldfish as you want. Like 55 per uh, serving, which is pretty crazy. Unlike cheese, it's when it's it's like mid 20s. Um and it's just oh, it's just regular goldfish but with the colors. So, you got to you got to give it S. You know, you could switch things up. Maybe dig through and find a handful of purple ones and just eat those or why not go a little crazy and have a whole rainbow in your mouth you know pause um and yeah i mean well we'll put regular goldfish up there i mean they, it's really these are fun i like the rainbow ones more but it's the same thing it's, it's the flavor i don't really care about the presentation um and then pretzel i'm just gonna go through the goldfish now pretzel goldfish like i said i like pretzels and i like goldfish so you'd think I would really like these, but I don't know. There's something about these pretzels that aren't as good. I'd put them along with rolled gold, but again, they're not my favorite form factor of pretzels. Uh, I'll reveal that later on. Stay tuned. All right, Rice Krispie Treats. Love me a good Rice Krispie. Can't go wrong. Um, not S, not A. I, I put them in B tier. I don't get them too often. And... If I have it, I'm only going to have one or two, so I don't go wild, which is probably good, but uh, they're fun. I like how you can, like, break them apart and give them a nice big chew. All right, again, popcorn, not crazy about it. Um, and this one makes me sad because this is my ex-girlfriend liked this a lot, so. Uh, e. But, I mean, it worked out because I wasn't, like... She'd offer me some and I'd have a little bit, but I don't want to take too much of her favorite snack, so. All right, Ritz. <sighs> Ritz. What can I say about Ritz? If I'm really sad, I can eat, like, a sleeve of these things. But that's why, like, I can't rank them that high because they're, like, a sad snack. So when you go in your pantry and you're like, shoot, all there are are Ritz. 
but I'm hungry and I don't want to eat something that's gonna be good for me so I guess I'll just go through these and like you go through like three-fourths of the reds and you're like oh god I'm so stuffed but then you're like I don't want to put the tiny little there's like four left I'm not gonna leave this huge sleeve and just those in there and that'd be rude be doing a disservice to myself and to my family and like a charcuterie board <laughs> I can't say that word charcuterie board uh, I'm not crazy about those either I'll have them uh, if they're there and I'm hungry and Ritz are always there or some kind of cracker um, I put them in D tier I, I'd never buy them and like and with that I'd never buy Fritos also like on their own that's that's weird uh, my mom likes to make taco salads which essentially is just a taco without a tortilla or a hard shell and you just put all the meat and like cheese lettuce salsa in a bowl and mix it up with some fritos the fritos are uh y they're necessary you need to have them because you need that crunch i don't know it otherwise it's just meat and cheese and it's, it's weird um so fritos again you wouldn't want to buy these on their own that, that's strange they don't have much flavor it's just the crunch and i don't know i like the form factor the little like scoopy they have like scoop ones uh in particular but yeah i'd have to i have to put them by ritz uh sour cream and onion no i don't like sour cream and onion flavored anything um i just don't like sour cream i do like onion but sour cream is just turns me off man which is a shame yeah there goes pringles too um all right some more popcorn this one has flavor yeah i mean it, it's the same thing as pirate's booty i'd say i might put it up and see i won't but I like it a little more just because we had these around school and I'd get them if if I was done with eating Cheez-Its. Okay, Cheez-Its, S tier. Original Cheez-Its. Now I like a lot of different types of Cheez-Its. I was really into Cheddar Jack, uh, the Duos. I mean, I've had the whole grain, the reduced fat, but nothing compares to the original. I've gone back to it, I'm like, they got it right the first time. I understand they're trying to broaden uh, broaden their horizons and get a new audience but no the original the original is where it's at all right ruffles uh i like original ruffles these are cheddar oh gosh and sour cream yeah i've had these before uh they should just be cheddar i don't like that little tang that the sour cream gives it i would rather it just be cheddar um i'm not gonna put it in f tier because it's not just sour cream and onion it just sounds nasty like you don't i don't i don't want i don't want that all right, veggie straws, they're not great, but I can eat a lot of them without feeling bad, although they're probably not even that healthy for you. They're not healthy for you, but I mean, it's not like I'm eating like a bag of Doritos, I guess. Um, so like D tier maybe, but like I'll buy the, no, nah, not D tier, I'll give it C tier, because I, I will buy these from time to time. All right, fruit by the foot, love these. Don't get them too often, but when I do, I have a good time. I think it's like six to a box but the issue is they're so fun that like I eat the whole box within a day maybe two if I have a little bit of self-control but I don't know I just like to unwind the whole thing and just take it all in one big slurp uh, <laughs> yeah all right Pocky I don't know what this is I probably should I'm sorry if it's your favorite snack I definitely have heard of it um, or you know what I think I might have but I can't remember it, so it's going in F. So, like, yeah, the things I don't know go in F along with the things I don't like. All right, Tostito Scoops. Again, you wouldn't buy this on your own. It's for salsa. It's made for salsa. They know that. Fritos, they don't advertise that. This, like, has, I think, little salsa scoops on it. Uh, I love Tostito Scoops. They're great. I like them more than just regular chips. Um, like, regular, you know, dipping chips. I'd put them in... in Man, it seems wrong to put these ahead of peanut M and M's. Um, now I'm putting them in B though. I, I think of them fondly. I like some chips and salsa. All right, Scooby Doo graham crackers. I like those. Um, I'd also get them at the lunch line. They're fun, but halfway through them, I'd be like, eh, these aren't too great. They were always stale. Um, I give them D. I I did like them. All right. See, this makes me sad. I really want to put this in S tier because I love Scooby-Doo gummies, but they ruined it. They changed the flavors. They changed the way they looked, and I just can't, like, eat them now without 
reminiscing on the good old days. Um, they're not like horrible now, but they're not great. So unfortunately, it's the C tier for me. Lay's barbecue chips. Oh my goodness. Now for a while, I wasn't even crazy about barbecue. I am now, but I always love Lay's barbecue chips. That is definitely A tier for me. It could even be S, but I'm putting it in A because that's my gut instinct. Uh, they're just fun. I like the flavor. I like to lick the uh, the flavor off of the chip and then eat the chip or just eat it whole, you know? All right, Stacy's. Uh, I'm not sure if I've had these. I think I have, and they weren't amazing, but they weren't bad, so D. Oreos. Really like Oreos. But again, there's a problem. I, I can't stop eating them. But I feel like I shouldn't dock it for that, and I probably shouldn't have docked other ones for that, but it's just that, that's how I feel like. If, I, if I'm eating too much of it, then of course I'm going to think of it kind of negatively, but I also am... I'm in love with them. Uh, I'd have to, I mean, I'd give them, I, I'm going to put them over long pretzels. Um, if I'm going to get like cookies, I like the, uh, the elf, the elf cookies. Can't think of the name, but I like those with the little M&Ms in them. Those are great. All right. Doritos. Cool Ranch. S. Easy. I love them. I don't really think there's much to say about them. Uh, nacho cheese. I don't like them as much. I'm putting them in A. Yeah, they're going in A. But um, they're very close. It's weird. It looks like the the nacho cheese one is a little bigger of a bag in the in the picture. Okay, here we go. My favorite form of pretzel, pretzel sticks. They are fun. You can put the whole thing in your mouth. You can and like have it go to the roof of your mouth and the bottom of your mouth and hurt yourself <laughs> through it. But through the pain. It's interesting because you have a little pretzel stick in your mouth. Or you could, I don't know, you can eat three and like eat like half of it and then you have this whole, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyways, pretzel sticks are great. They're not S tier, but they're A for sure. Sourdough pretzels, uh, uh, better than honey mustard and onion, but not by much. Are you Cheetos? Uh, are these the... Okay, these aren't like spicy Cheetos because I was I never really got into those. I like Cheetos, kind of. Uh, I'd never buy them though. For me, it's going in D. Chips Ahoy, I didn't like them for a while, but my stepdad buys them, and so I have them every now and then, and they're all right. Um, they're no Oreos, but they're good. Um, I'll put them in C. Yeah, I mean, they're good. All right, Pringles. I love Pringles. I love the the shape of the box, like, does a lot for me. Um, salted really well, and it's fun to make little duck faces with them. So they go in A. Funyuns, mm, not crazy about them. Not awful. All right, Mott's just apples. <laughs> See, if I really want an apple and I can't get a hold of a fresh one I'll eat these but they're always like soggy and gross and they're not great anymore um, so E I don't like these these are worse than cheese sticks in fact cheese you know what I'll put I take that back cheese sticks are going in E uh, baby bell no that's that stays down enough I will never like those they're too soft I don't like the texture I don't like the taste it's it's, it's not good all right nature valley crunchy these are hard to eat because um, they're very crunchy like they mean it like they're still crunchy but they're still good and I still like will eat them if someone offers me one um, so I give them C I like the taste a lot it's just like I said it's a little stale which kind of like turns me off but I'll still eat it all right Lay's classic really good although you know I like the um, Lay's like oven baked ones and it's like 70% less fat or something uh, I tend to like those more actually because when I reach in the bag it's not as greasy so that's nice but that's not what's on here it's Lay's Classic um, I, put, I mean I have to put them above Fritos so yes yeah, see alright Chex Mix <laughs> that, that's what we're left with Chex Mix okay I like Chex Mix a lot um, I like the original and I like the cheesy one I would put it in B tier. It's not Pringle worthy or nacho cheese Doritos or barbecue Lay's, but they're good. Um, and you know what? I, I think I'm proud of this list. 
I like it. I think it's evened out. Although F tier is a lot of stuff I just don't even know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. And I'd like to hear what you think of the comments. Thanks for listening, guys. See ya.